it's me Harper Savage and today we're unboxing this Arteza Fine Art Advent Calendar for 2023. This is the 24 day version. As you can see it doesn't even fit in my filming space so it is big. I already took off the shrink wrap so let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my gosh it's so pretty. Now I will let you see the featured artist here. Um, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I'm not even going to try, but it is beautiful artwork. I really like the mushrooms. I'm glad there are mushrooms on here. It like gives a whole new take on Christmas, in my opinion, because I don't really celebrate Christmas. Well, I try not to. I get forced to, but this besides the point. It says Merry and Bright, and it has this little ribbon here on the side. And let's show you the back of it. Looks like similar to the front. I'm trying to be careful because there's things knocking around in here. But yeah, here's the back. Now, I bought this for myself. I am showing you guys just so you know what comes in it and if you want to get it for somebody else. Now, the box does say what comes in it, but I am one of those people that I have to see what's in it before I believe it kind of deal. <laughs> Let's open it up. All right, so I zoomed out some more so you can see the box properly. Uh, you can see my backdrop no longer exists <laughs> because this is so big. Well, holy crap, it is huge. So let's start opening it. Um, well, I cannot see the perforation from the angle I'm sitting at. So let me, here we go. Here's the punchy hole. I have a knife here just in case. So I sat here and struggled with this first one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, slice open all the perforation real quick here. All right, so I have gone ahead and pre-cut these open. With a, with a craft knife here. I didn't look in any of them except for the first one because I was trying to figure out if I could open these on screen or not. So let's go ahead and start with day one. Okay, here we have a do not eat thingy. And, ooh, they have a ribbon to pull it. Nope, not that ribbon. That's the other pocket, I guess. Uh, that was useless. <laughs> Okay, we have a canvas. It says premium on it. Marrowing out. Uh, it is a 5x7 canvas. And it's probably a white canvas. Uh, like, yeah, I'm not gonna open it yet though. It's just a canvas. <laughs> you know it. You know what it is. It's a canvas. We're gonna put this in here properly though. So I can actually pull it out again if I want to. All right, so we have a canvas so far. Day two. Is a uh, twi marker, uh, noir. So it's like black or gray. It's Arteza branded, of course. And it has a flexible brush end, it looks like. I'll have to bring it closer and a finer end that's not soaked in the uh, pigment yet. That's interesting. Can't wait to try that. Oh, non-toxic. And it is water-based. Okay, okay, okay. Do you think that'll work on the canvas? I don't know. Day three, where are you? Oh, all the way over here. Little cut off here. And we have ribbon. Where you at? There we are. We have acrylic paint, cool gray. So, so far we have two grays. I have not tried an Arteza product at all, by the way. So I don't have any opinions on the brand yet. <laughs> Where are we at? We're at three. So let's do four. I bet it's a paintbrush. It is two paintbrushes. We lucked out. Get out of there. Oh my God, these are so pretty. We have a six flat and a four round. Man, these handles are really pretty and I feel like they're a good quality. I don't know though because I don't know what it's made out of, but they definitely feel like a good quality and the ferrule is almost unnoticeable, which I really like. It makes it like look long and elegant. That's really cool. Uh, and it has the glue on it, so it's nice and stiff so it wouldn't break or get frayed upon packaging and we're on day five now it's another big one up here 
<gasps> watercolor pad. Heck yeah. 140 pounds, 300 gm. 4x4, four four, 16 sheets, white, heavyweight. Super textured. It's kind of, it's more like a gray white, in my opinion. It's not like yellow white or pure white. It's more grayish, which, you know, isn't bad. It'll help, like, uh, make the colors pop. Oh, and it has the, uh, the matching artwork. That's cool. So that was made specifically for this. That's awesome. We have six. Six is... Oh, oil paint. Uh-oh. <laughs> Six is Viridian Green um, oil paint. I've never, ever used oil paint before because I'm scared of it. <laughs> I don't know how to use it, but I guess we'll try it out someday since I got it now. Pretty green color. It like looks very similar to these green. Well, obviously it was like, made for this box, man. Alright, day seven, day seven, day seven. Give me. Day seven. One cut all kinds of crazy. Whoa, wait a minute, wait. Oh, wait, I did not. <gasps> That's awesome. Okay. This is only awesome to me, I'm sure, because I'm literally going to put all these back <laughs> in their slots until I use them. But it has uh, what was in their slot for that day written on the back of their little cover thing. And oh my god. This is a fancy palette knife. As someone who uses dollar store supplies, this is like super fancy to me. Oh my goodness. I wonder if it's easy to clean. I don't know because I've never used like a metal palette knife. I don't think. If I have, I ruined it because I definitely don't remember cleaning one. But look at this big old handle on it. That's so nice. Okay, day eight is round. I wonder what's in the round ones. What is that? What is this? Oh my goodness. This is a round canvas panel. Oh my god, it's so small. Is it really a canvas? Really? What am I going to paint on here? I thought it was washi tape at first, but oh my gosh. It's so cute, but <laughs> kind of impractical. I don't know, like we could paint something cute on it, I'm sure, like a snowflake if we're doing a Christmas theme. And it's a, one of the flat kind of canvases, so that's interesting. Oh no, I ripped it! No! Okay, day nine. I bet it's a pen or something. Oh, it's like really tightly in there. You can even see what it is. My ribbon wasn't glued down. Gosh. Oh, it is a pen. It is a 1 or 0.25 mm. Guessing it is a liner. Oh yeah, it's like one of the finer, finer ends. Come on. Camera, please. There we go. Finer end on there. Again, I have never tried an Arteza pro product. I'm not even sure if I'm saying their name right. So I have no opinions or knowledge about how any of these things work yet. All right, we're on day N. Oh. And we have, a, oh, a gua acrylic gouache. I've never used acrylic gouache before. In aqua, it looks like a nice minty color. Kind of like the, um, the ornament and like the lighter parts on the leaves of this artwork on here. I've never used acry acrylic gouache and I'm very new to gouache in general so I wonder how this works. Is that in here? Yeah I'm guessing it was. Interesting so we have oil, acrylic, and acrylic gouache. Nothing's the same yet which is concerning. I don't know if these things all work together or not because again new to half of these things. Day 11 is right here. And that is metallic acrylic paint. Okay, so now we have another acrylic paint and it is gold. I wonder if it really is metallic or not. That is a concern of mine because a lot of things say they're metallic, but they're really just glitter. We're on day 12. What is this? 
chrome ink marker alcohol based ink but it's a what but it, it's like a shaky kind of marker where you pump it like acrylic paint markers but it's alcohol based ink is that really a thing i'm gonna have to try that out it's in chrome so it's like a silver like a super like mirror reflective silver now we're on 13. okay 13 has a watercolor paint spiced apple that's a cool name spiced apple and it's watercolor so we have like every type of paint here i guess and 14 so i do wonder if the paint brushes provided with us are um like a general purpose one what did i just open this this one this one here gel pen white ooh in size eight open it yeah it looks like a regular pen i wonder how good it is because i'm pretty picky about my white so far the only thing for the main medium i use which is colored pencil um nothing goes over it but uh Posca markers do occasionally when they're being nice to me so i'll have to try this out and be judging it very harshly <laughs> and 15. what is that what is that i'm scared what oh it's a pot gouache didn't we get gouache in a tube earlier oh it was acrylic gouache okay so this is in a um little cup thing like the um popular jelly gouache <laughs> And it does not say the color name. There is a code on the side here, but I don't know if that corresponds to the color or not. It looks like a like a tan color, so I'm guessing it's like a gingerbready color when it dries. That's cute though. I like the shape of the pot. Oh, I see why it was in there sideways. It doesn't really fit that way. Okay, 16, 16. Then we have another metallic acrylic paint. Can I get it out? Okay, in pearl electric blue. So that is a little, what the heck was on there? That's just a little concerning because metallic and pearl, um, some brands are like make it interchangeable. So I don't know what that means. Like some, Metallics are pearlescent where they have little tiny micro like sparkles in them and then some are just like chrome, you know, like how the marker said it was chrome. So I am curious about what pearl and metallic together are like. It's a blue color, which I'm happy about because I'm not a huge Christmas fan, so I don't really like the red and green aesthetic that comes with it. Where did this come from? Oh, right here. 17, another round one. I bet it's another canvas. Place your bets now. Can't even get it out. Give me a second. There we go. I'm having a hard time getting them out because this side is not quite aligned over here. Um, this side isn't as bad, but it is shifted off a little bit. It's not a big deal, though. And then we have another little round canvas like I thought. I wish they had just given us like a little stack of the- I can't even get it out. Yeah, it's another little round canvas. I wish they had just given us like a stack of like three or four in one slot. Cause like this is a little disappointing to get these tiny little like flat canvases. They're not even like the wood kind. They're the um they're the chipboard kind. The chipboard backing. That is one complaint I have so far. Just give us a little stack in one spot and move on. We have 18. which is vermilion red in acrylic paint. Not much to say about it. It's acrylic paint. These tubes are like a good size too, for the most part. What are we on? Oh, 19. One of the first ones I cut, so it's not that well done. And we have, oh God, I don't want to bring the whole thing with me. We have a metallic dual tip marker 
in gold, I'm assuming, from the gold caps here. Have a bullet, like a standard bullet. Let me show you with my like nicer hand here. Standard bullet tip on the side. And a flex brush looking deal on this side. Get back in there. And now we're on to 20. Another gold, um, as you can see, there is um, residue on my tube here. And it is an oil paint. I'm also curious to see like how metallic it really is. A 21. Or what? Which one was it just now? Oh, that one. Have Everblend art marker. Mantis green. <gasps> Mantis. Alcohol based dye, non toxic. Everything about mantises, spraying mantises, sigh in general, but we'll, we won't get into that. Okay, it says it on the cap too, that's really cool. On both sides. It's an interesting shape, it's like a triangle. And here we have the standard bullet tip sign here. They're calling it fine, and then we have a chisel. And, and I could definitely smell it when I open the cap, so it is going to be a smelly, smelly marker. As all alcohol-based markers are. 22. Yep. Watercolor paint, stone blue. Ooh. 23. What the heck's in here that I can't press on this? What is that? Ooh, varnish. Satin. Eh. Get it out. Now, this, this is uh, a little bit surprising to see in a box, uh, just because I wouldn't think that they would include something like this. But yeah, acrylic varnish and satin. So that means it's going to have like a little bit of a shine, but not like a glossy shine. And I'm kind of excited to try that out because I do use varnish on my acrylic paintings when I do them. Surprisingly, I don't really do that much acrylic on the channel though. All right, and the last day we get modeling paste. Can I get it out, please? I've never used modeling paste before. Um, so that's gonna be a learning curve along with the oil paint. Nice and uh filled though. Two ounces. Those are good, like decent sizes. So this is everything that comes in the 24 day advent calendar by Arteza. It is $90 in the store. I had a like a coupon and there was like a deal in the Joanne I got it in. So I did not personally spend that much on it. Is this worth the $90? I don't know. I don't know Arteza's quality. I'm gonna say because there's oil paints in here and a varnish and a premium watercolor pad that it is. I know oil paints are more expensive. I do feel a little bit cheated from having two round canvases that are on chipboard backing though. Uh, I wish they had just given us like a stack of three in one slot and given us something else in another slot. Do I think you can create art with this full set? Yes, absolutely. Do I think you can create art with it one day at a time? No. Uh, I'm like the first day with a canvas. Unless you have another medium already, you're not going to be able to create art with only this kit day by day. Uh, that is a complaint of mine for any art advent calendar, though, so don't take it personally, Arteza. <laughs> I wish there were more advent calendars that gave you a project each day and not just one piece of a project. But I know that would cost like way more money. Okay, so for December, I will be using these supplies. Um, I'm probably going to condense the 24 days down to 12 days, though, because I do 12 days of arts and crafts. I'll explain it better in the 
first video I post for that series. So if you are curious but you don't want to spend the money, don't forget to subscribe to me so you can like see how these products work and everything. It'll be like a learning experience for all of us because I've never tried Arteza products before. That is going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. If you want to watch another cool video, you can go ahead and tap the video here. And if you want to catch up on anything you missed, you can go ahead and tap the video there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to do all the cool YouTube things of comment, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!